Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Lux playing cards from JP Playing Cards. Uh, these cards were designed exclusively by renowned card designer Randy Butterfield for JP Playing Cards. And so this is the first edition. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the first edition Tuck and the first edition cards. Um, if you don't know Randy uh, Butterfield, he's part of Midnight Playing Cards. Uh, you might remember Midnight Playing Cards did Imperial, they did the UC deck, they did Ornates, they did the Crown deck. So with this deck series, uh, there were two color foils. There's the silver orange and the silver blue on each tuck, and they've got uh, an interior silver foil on the inside also. Um, with each deck, there was a strict number run of 1,111 of each color. And then uh, they're numbered seals. And so uh, there was even a little uh, special deal where you could get both colors with a matching seal number, so that's pretty cool. Um, the theme for Lux, the theme for this deck, uh, was inspired by the Flamingo Hotel out in Las Vegas. So it's a touch of luxury and then JP's own take on what the traditional courts look like, uh, and then they're hoping that that's what'll set this Lux deck apart. Um, so these cards are aimed at the casual game player. Uh, they're really premium poker cards, and they're perfect for a home game with friends. So for the purpose of this deck review, uh, between the two colors, we're going to look at the blue, uh, just because that looks a little bit better on film, and so we'll take a look at this tuck case right now. The tuck case on this is a thick cardstock for the tuck box. Um, it's super, super, super thick. Um, it's exactly uh, kind of the same thickness as the Gnostic deck, if you ever got a hold of that. It even has the same kind of inside liner. So yes, these cards were printed by legends. Um, the tuck case has uh, the, the number tuck seal, like I said, and then across the top it says diamond finish and poker size, and then it has a little bit of the scroll work uh, right here on the tongue. Um, the scroll work wraps all the way around the tuck case, as you can see. It says Lux on the front, premium poker cards, and on the side it says printed by Legends, and on the other side it says produced by JP Playing Cards. The bottom says designed by Randy Butterfield, so everybody's been um, accredited and acknowledged. <laughs> And the back is the back design of the tuck case. It's printed on a nice matte black paper stock. And like I said, it's super thick and it's just a, wow. It's just, it feels like an indestructible card case. So here's a close-up shot of the two tuck cases, the two different colors. Here's the front and the back side. And just to turn them around real quick, here are the other sides. I also want you to see just this beautiful silver inlay that's on the tuck cases. These are made from really strong material, and of course that silver just adds a little something extra. Um, so that's pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed by Legends, and they do have their diamond finish. Uh, it is a very strong, very sturdy uh, card, and it's very smooth, very slick. It almost feels like the cards are a smooth finish, but I don't believe they're a smooth finish because if you look really closely, you can kind of see a little bit of the waffle pattern there. The back design is beautiful and it looks great in fans and spreads. You can see that it has a very tiny micro white border there with just all of this floral and uh, scroll work kind of exploding uh, out from the middle. Uh, and you do have little arrows in the dead center there and it's just uh, accompanied by just that beautiful blue color against a striking uh, black and like gray accent. And real quick, I wanted to show you the back design of each one of these cards. Here is the uh, blue deck, and here is the orange deck. Here is how the uh, orange colored deck looks in a spread, and this is how the blue colored deck looks in a spread. Because this deck was printed by Legends, uh, the print runs a little bit smaller. You're not going to get as many cards as you would, per se, if you were getting a Bicycle Brand deck. Um, you're going to get a Poker Hand Ranking Guide with this deck, so that's in lieu of, say, a Gaff card or maybe a Joker. Like I said earlier, this is a great deck for playing uh, card games with. Um, the second is you're going to get a single joker. It does say joker and it says Lux up in the corner with kind of like a uh, minimized version of the back design. And then your ace of spades is a beautiful blue uh, pip. It says Lux and uh, JP playing cards and printed by the Legends playing card company there at the bottom. The court cards are uh, traditional, yes, uh, they're very familiar to you, but they kind of have a little bit of a twist to them. You can see that there's some like ornamentation um, up in the corner, some scroll work, uh, the pips have uh, little um, accents to them, and then you have that uh, color. That I One of the neat things about the Lux deck is that you have four colored court suits. So the clubs, as you can see, they are a green accent. The diamonds have a deep red accent. The hearts have a muted orange accent, 
and the spades have a light blue accent. So here's just a sampling of the green clubs and here we have the blue spades and of course you can use your own camera controls and pause whenever you'd like to take a longer and closer look. Each of the pips are going to be familiar to you as far as pip placement and layout however they do again have that same little twist uh, of accent design. Here is a close-up look at all four of the aces that come with the Lux playing cards. Here is a close-up look at the Lux dealer coin. This is the front and this is the back. So that is pretty much it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy and twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.